When an average star like our Sun runs out of hydrogen to fuse, it starts to collapse. But compacting a star causes it to heat up again, and this time it is able to fuse what little hydrogen remains in a shell wrapped around its core. This burning shell of hydrogen greatly expands the outer layers of the star. When this happens, the star becomes a red giant. When our Sun enters the red giant phase of its life in about 5 billion years, it will be so big that Mercury will be completely swallowed. Our red giant Sun will still be consuming helium and cranking out carbon. When the helium is gone, the Sun will succumb to gravity again. When the core contracts, it will cause a release of energy, and the Sun will become an even bigger giant with a radius beyond Earth's orbit. After about a billion years as a red giant, the Sun will have ejected its outer layers until, eventually, its stellar core is exposed. This dead in terms of nuclear fusion, but still ferociously hot stellar cinder is called a white dwarf. White dwarfs are roughly the size of Earth, D-E-S-P-I-T-E, -E, containing the mass of a star. Pressure from fast-moving electrons keeps these stars from further collapse. The more massive the core, the denser the white dwarf that is formed. Thus the smaller a white dwarf is in diameter, the larger it is in mass. White dwarfs fade into oblivion over many billions of years as they gradually cool down. This fate awaits only those stars with a mass up to about 1.4 times the mass of our Sun. Above that mass, electron pressure cannot support the core against further collapse. Such stars suffer a different fate.